six years ago. And the guys have already been working for some other region for three years to fundamentally um, change the way storage was specifically designed and then ultimately formed. Right? A lot of the old um, challenges that were proposed to you as users by the, the established vendors, um, the technology was very much geared towards overcoming issues like poor scalability, inconsistent and unpredictable performance with multiple applications on a system, um, scalability yeah, through capacity but not through performance, uh, complex pricing models, software taxes, rigid service delivery, rigid service delivery models. Um, we really set out to change those things. But I think what we also try to do as a company is to be a little bit different in the way we engage with our partners, in the way we engage with our prospects, and obviously ultimately to determine its customers. And those of you that work with us for a while now, I know there's quite a few of you that have been customers of ours for you know, somewhere between three and five years. Some of you around the five years mark, certainly my experience with some of the customers from Europe. Um, we've got uh, Paul here from, from Falmouth, that's where's Paul, he's there somewhere. You've been a client for nearly five years, Paul, now? And I'm sure there are others in the room who have been with us for a similar period of time. Um, you know, I hope going back that you, you put your trust and faith in, in the axiom, but you also put your trust and faith in, in us as a company and the way we like to, to engage in the work and ultimately support our customers. But, you know, part of that also is we want to be fun to work. Relationship should not just be a, you know, a formal business relationship. We want to enjoy some time together. And we've tried to build a culture and experience around our organization and our relationship with you. Mike used the word family yesterday, other people have used the word friend. Those aren't hollow words. Um, you know, we've been through a lot with many of you over a long period of time, and we're still together. And, and, and I think that's part of not just what we deliver to you in terms of the product platform, but the whole experience of the way we work with you, the way we support you, and also the way we engage with you both professionally and socially. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. Um, you know, we've we'll given some great examples, I think, of the areas where we try and be a little bit different. Yesterday, um, we talked about Mike's blog. Um, you know, I'm sure like many people, most of us read various industry blogs. A lot of them are pretty insipid. Um, you know, Mike, I think his is an expression. It's not some anonymous kind of ghost written Told by somebody else, he personally uh, agonizes over every word, and so will you. From him, from his heart, any of you who spent any time with him will know that they are, they are working all over. Um, just in a second, we're going we're gonna to just move on to a, to a graphic, and I might as well say a few words. But, you know, as we grow, we've been able to maintain that as a business, and we make a commitment to you now as this business.
she's the president and she's the COO, um, and she's the official chef now. And that puts you in really good company, though, because you think about it, you're right up there with the wiener dog. <laughs> it does not get a lot better than that. It doesn't get any better than that. I don't think we're going to put a picture of you on the roof, though. Because <laughs> that would be embarrassing. <laughs>
pipe like this, and he busts the whole pipe off the end that I had put <laughs> on and wine is going all over. So the, the moral of the story is, is be careful where <laughs> you get your help from. <laughs>
everyone's going to leave the room, and you're going to be laughing, and she's going to have a look on her face like she just saw a car wreck. And she was laughing her ass off. She just thought it was hysterical. She's not a curse reader, but she just thought it was hysterical. I have to love it. Thanks. Okay, thanks very much, guys.